Okay, hello once again. Little video for Rob, who's having problems getting full travel of the flaps in the uh, Jetty Crow Butterfly, uh, sorry, Butterfly Flap menu. It's possible, uh, if you're using a glider, of course, that you're also using uh, a switch to give you different flap settings, such as a little bit of reflex for speed and a little bit of down for thermal. And this could be interfering with the uh, travel in Butterfly because the system will continue to interpret that switch position and mix it into whatever else is going on. So here is how you overcome all of that. Uh, so what we're going to look at is getting Butterfly and a three position flap switch, but without interfering with each other. So if we go into uh, the model menu first of all, into functions assignment, down to the flaps. Now, when you set up the model, the system will have assigned a control to the flaps, and you've maybe not wanted that and changed it to your own choice. For instance, I'm going to use this switch here, SA, as my flap switch. And I'm going to use, as Rob was using, P4 as the uh, crow brake switch. But notice what I've done here. I've gone into flaps and I've switched off control. In case you're not quite sure how to do that, go into it. Uh, let's say a control was assigned. So you just go into it, clear it, say OK, and there we are. This might sound a bit odd, we've got flaps but no control. Uh, that's fine, that's OK. It's important the flaps were there uh, in your initial setup because the system will then have assigned flap servos as you set up in the, the previous menu. So we say OK to that. Come out of there. Go into fine tuning. Go down to butterfly flaps. Set the control. In this case, we did that. It's P4, which is what many people would regard as the throttle stick. It's, it's a good air brake, crow butterfly switch, uh, control. Come down from there into this the flaps adjustment, come down and set the maximum travel value of the flap. And then you'll get proportional control through the stick, which is what we have here. All that way, like that. Now, if you were to set a lower value here, let's do that. Set it to 50. Then we're going to get much less, but still proportional control. Okay, let's set that back up to 100 for the moment. So how to get uh, flap control on your three position switch. Notice here also, by the way, that the butterfly flaps flight mode is global. Leave it as that. Uh, you come up to flight modes and set your flight modes on the switch you want to use for flaps. In this case, switch SA, which is this one, three position switch. And I've got my three little flight modes, which is called high, mid and default for the moment. Come down to flight mode trim. Now we can use flight mode trim in this case because for a little bit of reflex and a little bit of thermal flap, they are small movements. Bear in mind that flight mode trim will only give you about half travel of the servo, not full travel. But for small things like these little trim bits, that's fine. So we go into flight mode trim. We'll come down to flaps. Uh, and you could do this with ailerons as well if you're looking for a little bit of uh, reflex and thermal trim on them at the same time. Come across here and change it to flight mode specific. Come back. Now, if you see, we've got our flight modes. I'll put it to default mode. Come on, camera, focus. There we go. And I'll give it some value. Uh, 
Now we'll leave the default to zero because that makes more sense. And we'll change mode there, mid mode. We'll give it some positive value. Click the switch again, come to high mode. We'll give it some negative value, like we're moving our flaps in opposite directions for uh, speed and thermal mode. And there we go. That's it. Now what will happen, I've got back into default mode. So this is normal cruising around mode. The servo's in the middle position and I've got full rotation of the flaps for the crow braking. Come back up here. I'll move the switch to the mid position. And notice that we get that little bit of movement of the servo. But still, crow braking works because remember, crow braking is in global mode. Go to the other, this is thermal, and still crow braking works because it's in global mode. If you wanted, you could. Uh, change the crow braking to only work in the default mode Maybe if you really want to try that but that's how you get the full travel in crow braking plus uh, three position flap switches without the flap switch interfering as it were with zero fifty and hundred percent multiplications of the crow braking Hope that helps. If not, get in touch. I'm very happy to help with Jetty programming solutions.